Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the Thevenin's theorem. So first we will see what is Thevenin's theorem statements. It states that in any linear bilateral complex network having more number of elements, the entire circuit can be replaced with an equivalent circuit called as Thevenin's equivalent circuit, which consists of Thevenin's equivalent voltage that is connected in series with Thevenin's equivalent resistance. If we take one circuit, this total circuit can be replaced by an equivalent voltage source. That equivalent voltage source is called as Thevenin's voltage that is connected in series with equivalent resistance that is called as RTH and that is connected in series with RL. So this whatever the circuit it is, how many resistors, suppose if there are three resistors, if there are many resistors, we will convert into one single resistor. Here, the total circuit can be replaced by an equivalent voltage source that is connected in series with RTH. Okay, the complex circuit can be con converted into one simple circuit. Okay, now we are going to see how we will calculate VTH and how we will calculate RTH. There is a procedure to find VTH and there is a procedure to find RTH. To find VTH, this is the given circuit. To find VTH, open circuit the load resistor here. We will remove the load resistor that is open circuit the load resistor and we will find the voltage across the open circuit terminal. We will find the voltage across the open circuit terminal. Okay. So after open circuiting it, we will find the voltage across this open circuit terminal by using mesh analysis or node analysis or Ohm's law based on our, uh, our convenience. We will find the voltage across this open circuit terminal. Now we will see procedure to find RTH. So this is the given circuit. So for the given circuit, we will open circuit the load resistance. We will open circuit the load resistance and we will re uh, replace the voltage source by short circuit. If any current source is there, we will open circuit it. Okay. And we will find the total resistance across this, res uh, this terminal. Okay. <clears throat> Now we will take one example, okay, and we will find the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So this is the equivalent circuit. Okay, we have to find the VTH that is Thevenin's voltage, and we have to find the RTH that is Thevenin's resistance. We will see step by step. What is the first step here to find VTH? To find VTH, we are open circuiting the low resistance, and we are finding voltage across the open circuit terminal. Now, we have to find out the total current here. So, as, the, as it is an open circuit, what is the current passing through this 3 ohm resistor? That is 0. The current passing through 3 ohm resistor is 0 because in this loop, the current is 0 as we are open circuiting the load resistance. So, this resistor is invalid. As this resistor is invalid, whatever the voltage appear across this 12 ohm resistor, that is nothing but VTH. The same voltage appear across this open circuit terminal. Okay, that is we are going to find out by using simple ohms. Law. The voltage across the 12 ohm resistor, we will find out by using the ohms law. As this 3 ohm resistor is invalid, there is no voltage drop. Okay, so now I am going to find the voltage across the 2 ohm resistor. For this, I am using simple ohm's law, I is equal to V by R. So now these two resistors are connected in series. What is the total volt in this circuit? What is the total voltage? 10 volts. What is the total resistance as these two are connected in series? 2 plus 12 is equal to 14 ohms. So V is equal to 10 volts, R is equal to 14 ohms. Here, total current I is equal to V is 10 volts and R is 14 volts. That is 0 0.714 amperes. So voltage across the 12 ohm resistor now we are finding. So V is equal to what is the formula I into R. Okay. What is the current passing through the 12 ohm resistor? 0 0.714 only. As these both are connected in series, in series current is same. So voltage across 12 ohm resistor is equal to 0 0.714 into what is the R value here? 14 ohms. Okay, but uh, we are finding the 
voltage across the 12 ohm resistor only. That's why we have to take the 12 ohm, not 14 ohm. Okay. 0 0.714 into 12, that is 8.5 volts. Now, voltage across the 12 ohm resistor is nothing but Thevenin's voltage because there is no voltage drop here. As the current passing through the 3 ohm resistor is 0, so voltage across the 12 ohm resistor and the Thevenin's voltage is equal to 8.5 volts. So finally, we can say that Thevenin's voltage VTH is equal to 8.5 volts. The voltage at this open circuit terminal is 8.5 volts. Now we got VTH is equal to 8.5 volts. So this is a procedure how we find the Thevenin's voltage. Now we will see how to find RTH. To find RTH, just we will open circuit the load resistor and here there is a voltage source that's why we will short circuit the voltage source and we will find out the resist uh, total equivalent resistance that is Thevenin's resistance the procedure to find Thevenin's resistance is see here 2 ohm and 12 ohm are connected in parallel 2 ohm and 12 ohm are connected in parallel if these two are connected in parallel what is the formula 2 into 12 by 2 plus 12. 2 into 12 by 2 plus 12. See here, these two resistors are connected in parallel. So, I am applying the parallel operation here. 2 into 12 by 2 plus 12. The answer we will get is 1.714 ohms. Now, two resistors are converted into one single resistor by using the parallel operation. What is the single resistor we are getting here? 1.714 ohms. Now, this 1.714 ohms and 3 ohm resistor are connected in series. So, if these two are connected in series, what is the formula? R1 plus R2, that is 1.714 plus 3. So, finally, we will get R is equal to 4.714 ohms. So, RTS, Thevenin's equivalent resistance, RTH is equal to 4.714 ohms. So, this is the procedure to find out the Thevenin's resistance. Okay, now, the total equivalent circuit, we have to substitute the, all the values in the equivalent circuit, whatever the values we have uh, got just now. This is the given circuit. For the given circuit, VTH we got is 0, uh, sorry, 8.5 volts. So, RTH is equal to 4.714 ohms and RL value is as it is. Now we have to find out this is the total equivalent circuit of the Thevenin's theorem. Okay. Now we will find the load current IL. Yeah. What is the formula to find the load current? Simple ohms law. I is, I is, IL is equal to V by R. Okay. So here R is equal to total resistance R is equal to RTH plus RL. That is 4.714 plus 5 ohms. 4.714 plus 5 ohm, the total resistance is 9.714 ohms. Okay, the resist, uh, resistor value, uh, resistance value is 7, 9.714 ohms and the voltage value is 8.5 ohms. Now we have to substitute these two values in the load current. IL is equal to 8.5 ohms divided by 9.714 ohms. If you do the calculation, we will get load current is equal to 0 0.875 amperes. So, this is a total procedure to find out the total equivalent resistance. So, what we have uh, done up to now, just we have calculated first VTH. After that, we have find the value of the RTH. After getting the VTH value and RTH value, just we have to keep the, all the values in the total equivalent circuit. After getting the values, just we will find the load current by using simple Ohm's law. So, this is a procedure to find the total equivalent circuit of the Thevenin's theorem. Okay. In the next class, we are going to discuss about the Norton's theorem. Thank you, everyone.